Welcome back Team Forever, back again with another video. And as y'all know, or if you don't know, Big Brother Season 20 premieres today, tonight at 8, 7 Central. And I'm about to do my little casting. Um, I got the cast thing right here. And I'm about to do the um, a little reaction video. Not reaction, but just give my first impressions of the cast. Pretty much bashing all of them because I'm jealous that they made the show and I didn't. <laughs> Not just joking, but I'm about to just give my reaction on how I feel about the cast and maybe give a prediction. So I don't want this video to be long because y'all know I ramble, so I'm about to just... the 16 house guests that I gotta get through. So first of all, let me just say, it's 16 people, so I'm assuming there's no veterans coming back. Y'all know I just started watching this show like a couple months ago. I watched season 15. I just recently finished watching season 15. I watched season 16, 17, 18, 19. I watched OTT and I watched Celebrity and now I'm watching season 10. So... This should be fun, but I already watched one of the videos, Bailey, this girl. Um, well, I'll put the picture up um, of Bailey. And five seconds into her video, I didn't like her, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I was just joking when I said I was going to bash the whole cast because I was jealous of them. But Bailey, I really don't, did not like at all. I immediately did not like Bailey because she comes off as a complete bubblehead. She does not seem like she's smart at all, unless she's putting it on, but she's like, Every time Ross would ask her a question, like she answered it like, of course. Like she, he's like, she's like, Ross is like, how old are you? She's like, 25. And where are you from? Missouri. And what is your uh, occupation? I'm a flight attendant and I also teach yoga. Like she seems pretty stupid to me. So I don't really like Bailey that much to be honest. Um, I guess I'll just go to the next person who is Angela. Let's see if yeah, I like her anymore. Okay, so I decided to scratch my strategy of watching each video and recording because I think that will take forever because each video is like four minutes to six minutes and just keep having to press that button over and over. I, I got tired of it after the first time. But um, something else I wanted to say about Bailey, I don't like her, but um, Ross asked, do you know where we are right now? And he asked a few more people because I just watched all of them. And... Bailey was the most bubblehead. I didn't think she was a bubblehead before. She's like, well, no, no way. Where are we? I, I don't know. Like, we're in the diary room. Oh, no way. Are we? Oh, do you actually watch the show? It's clearly the diary room. And all of the people that didn't know that they were in the diary room, I'm wondering, like, do they watch the show? Which I'm not saying is a bad thing, because if y'all remember from my Big Brother Experience video, I didn't watch the show. Like, if I didn't go to that casting call, I probably would never watch the show. <laughs> But now it's like my favorite show, and I wish it was more seasons for me to watch. Anyway, Angela seems pretty cool. Like, she seems like a real fan and everything. I like her. I don't really have any much to say about her through first impressions. Then we go to Brett, who at this point, he was the third person I watched. He's my favorite at this point. Out of the three that I watched, he's the coolest one. Angela's cool too, um, but Brett was pretty cool. I don't really remember much about him, though, to be honest. I can see him making it far or he being eliminated really early. I don't see him being in the middle because I feel like they're going to see him as a threat and eliminate him real quick or he's just going to be such a good player and make it to the end. I can definitely see him winning. Now we go to Angela Rockstar. <laughs> oh my God, when I saw the picture, I was like, okay. And I'm not going to lie, when I clicked on the video, the first image that I saw, I made a mistake and blurred it out. Ew. Because the the glasses are just so big and the hair is that color and she's smiling so huge. It was just a funny image. But I didn't mean to say ill because she is my favorite thus far now. So when Brett, now Angela, Angela Rockstar is cool as ever. But she's talking about like she's old apparently, but she don't look old. So like she said she might be the oldest one in the house. She said she was in high school a long time ago. She does watch the show. Um, I didn't think I was gonna like her, to be honest. I really didn't, because of how she looks. Don't judge a book by his cover, because she seemed real cool, and I like her a lot. I can see her making it. I don't see her winning the show. Um, I can see her possibly being the first one eliminated when jury comes. So that means she'll be the sixth one out the house. I can definitely see her being in a few fights with some of these people, because of that personality. Now we go to JC, who I'm assuming is a, is it offensive to say midget? I don't know, but like, he looks like a, a, a I don't know the correct way to say this, so I'm just gonna say a little person. He looks like a little person. 
And I don't know if he's the first one in Big Brother history because clearly I told y'all I just started watching the show. He flat out said, like, I know y'all can barely understand me. Like, he flat out said, by the end of the show, we'll understand him. Unfortunately, I don't see him making it far at all. I see him getting eliminated first, second, third, fourth, fourth. I see him out of there. Unfortunately, like, because I... Sorry, unless he wins HOH, like, and I don't see him doing that either. I'm sorry, and he's gay. He's the gay one on the show this season, because you know every season they have about two black people, one Hispanic person, one gay person, one nerd, uh, one old person. If I didn't already say that, and a lot of single women, cute women. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, JC, I don't see him making it far. Nothing much to say about him. Wow, I don't know how to say his name. Faisal, Faisal. If that's his name, Faisal. Um, don't really remember much about him. I think he's the biggest one in the house, though. And that's another thing. They have one really big buff guy. And I think he that one. I don't see him. Well, I could see him winning. I see him making it far. Maybe top six and being eliminated. He's one. He's definitely one to watch. Out of everybody so far, I, he's the one I can see winning the most. Okay, so I like Haley. I do like Haley. At first, I, you definitely can tell in her video that she was nervous. I definitely can tell that. But she she seems pretty cool. She admitted that she's not a fan. She just started watching season 16. But she said that she wants to play a very similar game to, game to Derek. Which, her saying that just tells me she's not going to do that. Because you're already going into the house thinking that you're going to be like another player and he was the best player on season 16 which was the first season. I don't like to give spoilers out in my videos because I don't watch, I watch season, my first season I watched was season 18 and I didn't want to get any spoilers from other seasons by watching season 18 because I want to watch other seasons. Then I watched season 16, so I watched season 18, then 16, then 17, then 19, so I went all over the place, and I kept getting spoilers, like, for every season, but I don't want spoilers, and then I watched some people's videos on reviews of the seasons, and they, people always give spoilers, so I don't want to be the one to give spoilers, but Derek was on season 16, and he did very good, but, um, yeah, Haley, I like her a lot, she seems like she can make it far, um, Maybe she definitely seems like she's gonna be very easily manipulated. She's talking about her strategy is to stay low, lay low in the beginning, and then do good stuff like in the middle and end. Good luck. Tyler is um, the next person I saw, and he admitted that he fits the stereotype of people who go home first, which he does. So I don't see him laughing long. I'm gonna predict that he's gonna be eliminated first. That's gonna be my prediction. I, I don't really get a winner's vibe from Tyler. But he did admit the stereotype, he goes home first. We're gonna see, hopefully he breaks that curse. Well, Hayden kinda broke that curse though. Then we go to Winston. I can definitely see him winning the game. He looks like he's definitely gonna make it far. He would be more the nicer one. Uh, he admitted that he uh, actually lost his new job. He had just got a new job and then this opportunity came so he had to leave. Him and Brett, I can see getting along. Winston and Brett, I can see being a good alliance and lasting a while. But I definitely can see Winston win out. Next we go to Sam, which is a lot of people's favorite, I know. Because on Twitter, uh, Robin Cass put on, like, who's your favorite preseason favorite? And I read the comments to see who everyone liked. And a lot of people like Sam, and it's because she's the country girl. And that's another thing. They always look for at least one person that's really, really Southern. And that's her this season. She seems really nice. Really nice. I don't see her winning. I do see her winning America's fan favorite, though. Then we got Steve. He's the old guy this season. Um... He's an undercover cop though, so he could be just like Derek. I, I would like to see Steve win. He seems pretty nice um, for his uh, video. I really like Steve. But I, I feel like they might be on to him. Cause he don't come off like how Derek did, where Derek just was, yeah, I'm an undercover cop, but talking to me, nobody ever su ex suspected it. With him, I can see people suspecting it. And then we go to KC. I love her. When she was talking, I was like, She's cute, but I kind of get a vibe that she like girls. And in, the in her video at the end, she said, I'll do anything to win this money except talk to a guy. So, or sleep with a guy, something like that. Kiss a guy, something. She don't like guys. She's a lesbian, which I could tell. I really like her. Um, I can see her making it far. She reminds me of like a Christmas, where she's gonna, Christmas from season 19. Like she's gonna be one of those strong females that the other girly females might try to get out or a line with or something like that. The guys will love her, I think. And then go to Scotty. This guy creeped me out. <laughs> I can see a way to this game, though, <laughs> to be honest. I, 
definitely can see Scotty with this game. Scotty looks like some former house guests from previous seasons. Um, I can definitely see him winning this game, to be honest. He seems pretty weird though, like, um, Ross, by the way, I'll talk about Ross at the end, Holston, but Ross asked him, like, tell America why they should root for you, and he's like, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Like, just answer the questions. <laughs> he seems like somebody that they're probably gonna underestimate in the house, and then he's gonna do really good. Then we go to Swaggy C. Chris. He annoyed me as soon as the sh his interview started. Oh, this is Swaggy C. I'm in the building. What's up? Big Brother got me here. Like, okay, you're annoying. But then he won me over. He was pretty cool. He was really cool, actually. Unfortunately, Swaggy C. I can see you being the second one out. Second one. I'm, I'm not saying first, but I can see you being the second one out. Just based on your personality. Um, I'm sorry, Swaggy C. If you go in like that, and he said he is, he said he's not holding back, he said he's gonna be just like he is. He said he's going for to win the first HOH, which I agree with, I like that. But he sounds like he's gonna be really, really like a Zach, but more beast than Zach. Cause Zach didn't really win that much. I don't know if I don't, if I recall. Zach is from season 16, just to let y'all know. I, 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 pfft. So I can see won me over with his interview button. Begin, I didn't like him, but I definitely can see him being the second one out. That's my prediction. Caitlyn. <laughs> so what was going on with her and Ross? Like, okay, so this is, this is gonna be fun. Uh, uh, we're meeting for the very first time. Very first time. What is your name? Caitlyn. Caitlyn, I'm Ross. It's a pleasure, an honor. It's too much. So you. <laughs> Doesn't that seem a little bit suspicious how they started off? Like, it seemed like they might know each other. Uh oh. It seemed like they might know each other. I don't know. But she seemed pretty cool. I mean, I didn't really get nothing from her, to be honest. And then Rachel, which a lot of people also like as a fan favorite. I didn't really get much from her, though. But I definitely can see her winning. Um, these interviews pretty weird. Oh, something else about Swaggy C. Swaggy C said that... Paul, I read it, I didn't see it in the video, but he said that Paul was his favorite player of all time and Paul was robbed of $500,000, not once but twice. And Paul was a better player than the winners of season, of every single season of the past 10 years. So from season 10 up, and I can't name the winners, but he said Paul was a better player than most of the winners except like four. But I'll, talk, I'll do a video talking about Paul. I, I just gave away some spoilers, but I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to do videos on season 16, 17, 18, 19, OTT, Celebrity, and season 10 when I finish watching that. Just a summary of the whole seasons. Um, Cause I definitely have some stuff to say about Paul. Um, and it might not be what y'all think. <laughs> but anyway, um, I do want to talk about Ross hosting. I don't, I, I like Ross. Um, Celebrity Big Brother, I think he did a good job. I, I do. But I, don't, I didn't like how he hosted this. I really don't. I feel like they should have got Jeff I think his name is Jeff that does the backstage, the backyard interviews after the season ends. I feel like he should have hosted, or they should have got somebody else, like even Paul, like somebody that's more in tune with Big Brother. And I know Ross is a big fan, but I just didn't like how he interviewed, to be honest. Like when he was interviewing um, Bailey, I think she had said, he had said something to her. And she was like, oh, like he knows what it takes to win. So Bailey's like, uh, can you tell me? And he's like, oh, well, I'm asking you the questions. And I just thought that was kind of rude, to be honest with it. And he probably was joking, but he don't seem like he's joking. And like, one of the girls was like, yeah, you did great on Celebrity. And she's like, she, he's like, oh, you're not wrong. And they just keep going on. I don't know. I do like Ross, but I didn't like him doing these interviews. Maybe they should hire me. No, I'm just joking, guys. But um, that's it for this video. Um. I'm gonna predict who will be eliminated, who will be on the first HOH, who will be on the block, and who will win the whole show. So, I'm gonna predict that the first HOH will be Swaggy C, because I feel like he's gonna come in the house so hard, and so like, he said he's gonna make big moves. Um, and he seems to like the girls a lot, so. I don't see him putting any of the girls up. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna predict that Swaggy C is gonna win the first HOH and I'm, I'm gonna predict that Tyler's gonna be the first one eliminated. And who's gonna sit on the block with Tyler? I'm gonna say it's probably, I'm gonna say Steve. I'm, that's just my prediction. Swaggy C, I can see him putting Steve and Tyler up. Either way, I think Tyler's going home. I think Swaggy C is winning first HOH. And I'm predicting that the final 
the winner will be between. I'm gonna give three picks. These are my three. I'm not changing them. I'm gonna try to review this season, but these are gonna be my three that I predicted before I even saw anything to do with the show. It comes on tonight at eight. Today, right now, it's only 2.30. My three winners, I'm gonna say, Steve, Rachel, has there ever been a black winner of Big Brother? So I would say Swaggy C, even though I don't see it happen. I, I would just, but nah, we're gonna wait till next season. Maybe I could be that person. No, I'm gonna say Steve, Rachel, and I'm gonna say Scotty. Steve, Rachel, and Scotty are my predictions to be the winner of Big Brother season 20. Hope this season is really good. I'm gonna review it on maybe every three episodes, like I said. I'm not watching the episode tonight. I'm off, I don't have anything to do, but I'm not watching the first episode because ever since I've been watching Big Brother, since I started, cause I started like a couple months ago, I've been able to binge watch and I really like binge watching. So I'm gonna watch, wait the first three episodes and then watch the first three episodes in a row, then do my video. So I won't have to wait and be in suspense and stuff like that. So, And I saw the house, the house looks great, I love it. I really wish I was in it, to be honest, I'm so jealous of these people. But that's it for this video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share the video on all forms of social media. Until next time, catch you later.